<laughs> so the pigs do not want to stay in their electric fence. One of them got out. <laughs> Shoot. Oh man, I really wish I got that on video, but we got the pigs out of the pen. We finally coaxed them out with food and maybe a little bit of encouragement. And they got shocked by one end of the fence and like ran and darted right through the other. So I don't think that this little electric fence is gonna do the trick. And now we got a pig that's out on the loose. Maybe try to bribe the pig with pig treats? I really don't know what we're gonna do to get this pig back in. Shoot! This morning, I was supposed to be getting a list of things done, but instead, our morning is being spent trying to get a pig back in. Maybe we'll all hang out to this fence. Oh. So we got him in the corner. There you go. There you go. Yay! <laughs> well, since that electric fence isn't working, we're running the tractor supply to pick up some hog panels. See if that does the trick. Now we just have to figure out how to get the pigs over to our new fenced in area. So thanks to my dad, we have this beautiful rendering of what we're gonna try to accomplish. We got an old pallet from Tractor Supply that put a couple of two by sixes on the bottom so we can pull walls around the outside and then put a little roof on. Easy as that, let's get started. My daddy and my papa are making somewhere for the pigs to sleep because they're just in a play bar.
And now this is day three on their little test pasture here. They didn't till up the soil as much as I was hoping that they would, but, but compared to what it was over here, they made some pretty good damage. So it's time, I think, to move these guys. But before we do, I wanna finish up our pig sleigh here, make it look a little bit nicer. So I picked up some of this green corrugated steel here that I'm gonna use as the roof. And I found some siding left over in this old barn over here from the previous owners. And I think it's actually siding that was left over from the house. So, and yeah, should look a lot nicer. It's a really hot day, so thought to give these guys a little bit of water. But I think they kind of dig it right now. All right, so this is version one of our pig sled. I'm sure there's gonna be multiple iterations on it, um, but I think it's a really good starting point. We got this little, pull this up here so we can get in and clean it out if we need to. And same thing for the front. We just got this temporary door that when, they, when the pigs get in there and it's time to transport them, we'll just put this on there and drill it. They'll actually keep this pig sled here clean. They're unlike goats where big goats will just poop and pee anywhere the pigs actually know they're going to be sleeping here so they're going to poop and pee outside so they keep this clean so having a wood floor doesn't seem to be a problem mm -hmm. 